There are a slew of basic HTML codes that every WordPress user, from beginner to veteran, uses on a near daily basis. Let's break them down and get you up to speed. When you wrap your text in strong tags, you are telling the browser to bold the text. You can also simply use a B tag too, but search engines prefer semantic coding. The EM tag stands for emphasis, and it is the semantic way to use italics in HTML. You can also use the I tag to do so as well. To underline text, you would use the U tag. In general, this one gets very little use because links are underlined and underlined text that you can't click on gives a bad user experience. Probably the most used of all basic HTML codes are the various headings like H1, H2, H3, H4, H5, and H6, which divide up your content into sections. Inserting images is one of the most useful things that HTML does. All you need to do is have the URL of the image you want and put an image SRC tag, which stands for image source tag. You can also add the alt attribute, which is the text that shows up for accessibility purposes and is also indexed by search engines. There's a lot going on with links. At their most basic, you will put one together with an ahref tag. The A indicates it's a link, and the href is literally the hypertext reference, aka the URL. You will close the link code with a slash A tag, and you can use any text you want between there. The text will become the clickable link itself, and that is called anchor text. Additionally, you can nest HTML code too. You can make an image clickable by inserting an image source tag between the link flags. If you want to have a line running through text, you would use the del tag around the text. Lists are another major part of web content these days. There are two kinds of lists you can make with basic HTML codes. Ordered lists that are numbered, and unordered lists that use bullets or symbols. You wrap each list with either UL or OL, and each item on the list should be wrapped in an LI tag. You can also nest other codes in the list too, so you can bold text, insert links, and so on. For quotes, you would use the tag block quote. Just surround whatever text you want with block quote, opening and closing tags, and you're good to go. Paragraph HTML is kind of weird. Depending on the CMS and builder you're using, it might automatically render each line break as a separate paragraph. WordPress does this when you type in HTML. However, not everything does that. So if you need to keep your paragraph separate and not have a wall of text, wrap each one in a P tag. The browser will then know to display each block of text as a separate paragraph instead of one continuous block. You may want other separations between your paragraphs and sections, and that's when you would use the HR tag and a BR tag. HR tags insert a separator line wherever it is. Many people use this to separate widgets in a sidebar or major sections of a web page. The BR tag is a line break. It is a self-closing tag, which means no content can be within it. While you can use this to break up text and paragraphs by inserting them where you want breaks, this really isn't a good practice to get into. And there you go. Those are basic HTML codes that every WordPress user needs to know. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like and subscribe for more content. With that said, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.